I made a superhero when I was 11 years old, and I was so proud of it that I made a comic, packaged it up, and sent it right to Marvel Comics. You might be asking yourself, why would I do something like this? How does somebody send their homemade superhero to one of the biggest comic companies in the world? Not to mention, what superhero did an 11 year old actually think would be good enough to move the needle at Marvel? And most importantly, did they respond? Now, Marvel has some big superheroes in their lineup, but as a kid, I only truly cared about one, Spider-Man. Everybody loves Spider-Man, whether it be for his iconic suit, his relatable stories, or his unique abilities. As a kid, I was mind blown by a revelation that had never occurred to me before. Someone created this character. Before Stan Lee and Steve Ditko sat down to make Spider-Man, there was no Spider-Man. And it's entirely possible that unless those two guys came together to create Spider-Man, we wouldn't have gotten one of the most popular and influential superheroes of all time. It was that very idea that inspired me to create my own superhero. But before I could send anything to Marvel and get my foot in the door, I had some work to do. It was 2007, and I had just moved away from the town that I grew up in. And as my family and I spent time touring houses, there wasn't much to do. Now, I was one of those kids who carried a sketchbook with me everywhere, just in case a good idea hit. It was on one hot car ride over to that day's house tour that I had come up with a great idea for a superhero. Meet Bullet Boy. Okay, as an 11 year old, I thought this was pretty freaking sweet. A gunmetal superhero that's as fast as a bullet probably has hair because, well, hair is dope. Definitely not because I wanted to distract from the idea that he has Spider-Man's eyes, right? You know what? Stick around to the end of the video because I think it'd be fun to revisit this suit, my current art style. With a name like Bullet Boy, I also gave him some pistols and uh, they decidedly don't kill people because that's not really what good guys do. And later that day, my dad helped me come up with the origin. He's got super speed, so it only makes sense that if he was born with these powers, his world-class famous athlete parents had something to do with it. And wouldn't you know it, they had some experimental testing done and the side effect was, well, superhero babies. Now, I didn't plan on Bullet Boy taking the world by storm or think that I had come up with the most original superhero of all time. I just thought he was cool and I wanted the fun of making comics with my own superhero for a change. But I will say, at the time, I thought he was the complete package. So much so that I filmed myself documentary style in high school drawing Bullet Boy for the first time so I could use it in a video like this one. I had no one to thank but Stan the Man himself. But if I was going to send Bullet Boy to Marvel and to Stan Lee, Bullet Boy needed a comic. Now, I have absolutely no recollection of making this, but it's apparent that the art was heavily inspired by the Spider-Man comics I was reading at the time. It might not be a 10 out of 10 read, but surprisingly, this first issue of Bullet Boy actually does a few things right. It sets up Josh McKean as a bored rich kid who spends his time cooped up inside watching TV, explains why he never figured out he had superpowers, discovers he has powers when he randomly decides to check the ID processor that his parents got for him for his birthday, where he finds out that by crushing a microchip, he can instantly suit up his Bullet Boy. Kind of a weird gift, but they're rich, and rich people buy dumb things all the time, so we can justify that plot point, right? Then he does what any kid would do if they figured out they just had superpowers, and he goes outside and jumps off a building. This is his pistols as spider I mean, grappling hooks to traverse the city. Suddenly, he's thrown off by a massive explosion, and as a superhero, he decides to use his newfound powers to save the city. At the source of the explosion, he meets his first villain, Shaka. Josh uses his super speed to round up all of Shaka's goons, and supercharges his suit to stop Shaka and save the day. And of course, on his way home, he comes up with the name Bullet Boy. Boom. End of issue one. The comic was complete. Next, I had my dad pop out Microsoft Word and the nicest weight of paper he had in his office supplies to help draft the letter to Marvel. The letter went like this. First, I would like to encourage you in your own work by telling you that I've been a fan of Spider-Man comics for many years. Now I've reached a point in my life where I'm coming up with my own superheroes. Please allow me to introduce you to Bullet Boy. I go over Bullet Boy's powers, his backstory a little bit. Of the many superheroes and villains I've created, Bullet Boy is my favorite and here's why. Bullet Boy has many abilities and amazing superpowers. Bullet Boy has a very funny and entertaining personality. Bullet Boy's adventures teach life lessons and promote good virtues. Bullet Boy is a boy next door type of character that kids can relate to easily. Bullet Boy also stands out as unique among superheroes with a virtual super suit that springs onto his body when he flicks a microchip. I continue to tease them with a little bit of backstory and tell them to go check out my website. Character Bullet Boy has enormous potential and I would be grateful for an opportunity to discuss the concept further with you. You may reach me at blah blah blah. Wow. Wow. Closed are some sample drawings of Bullet Boy, which I hope you'll enjoy. Thank you for your time and attention. Sincerely, Xander. Printed it out, sealed it up, and sent it out. I imagine the possibilities of what could happen by sending out my life's work out to one of the biggest comic companies in the world. Days, weeks, and months went by. 
nothing. Then I later found out about their unsolicited materials policy. It likely meant that all my hard work had ended up uh, snapped away by Thanos. So yeah, I don't recommend you do this. But you know, I was completely okay with the idea that maybe Stan Lee had secretly opened it, read it, and forgot to reply. But that didn't stop me from working on Bullet Boy. I kept working on stories and other villains and heroes for the next few years. If you've been following me on social media, you've probably seen my other Bullet Boy videos, where I tried redesigning Bullet Boy for the first time in several years. So for this video, why not do it again? Now, there are actually a few things that you want to consider when you're drawing a superhero. For example, Bullet Boy doesn't have an emblem, and I feel like because his suit was manufactured as a prototype, it shouldn't really have one, especially for this version I'm giving him more of an MCU aesthetic. And because it's a prototype, I want to think about the colors I'm using. Similar to Iron Man's first prototype suit, I like the gunmetal look. I can imagine if someone wearing this suit was running incredibly fast, they could burst through solid objects. So the suit kind of needs to look enforced. In previous versions, I really tried to get rid of the Spider-Man eyes look. I do think smaller white eyes could allow us to keep it feeling familiar, but for this iteration, I wanted to go all out and think about and consider options that might be helpful to someone running at insane speeds. Max visibility and eye protection. And of course, I want to keep Bullet Boy's hair. I really think the hair is a lot of fun to draw, and the way I've been drawing it recently reminds me of the way your hair gets if you have the window down in the car for too long. And because he's a running superhero, I think the athletic build really works for him. That way his build is more aerodynamic and he's more quick on his feet. In this drawing, Bullet Boy's pistols are in his holsters, but as far as weaponry would go, I think that these pistols have various settings and abilities that would give him an arsenal of ways to deal with enemy threats. So that's Bullet Boy, or at least a variation of his superhero suit. Let me know if this whole story reminds you of any superheroes you had as a kid, or if you're working on any now, let me know down in the comments below. Meanwhile, I'm gonna prep my letter to DC.